Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today, first of all, I have a new camera, and it has one of those like face fronting viewfinder things, um, which essentially means that I can see what I'm filming, but also I'm very distracted by my own face right now, so I apologize for that in advance. Second of all, there are boxes back there because I am in the process of moving. Uh, they're, they're, those aren't packing, those are just me like sorting through things that um, I put in boxes last time I moved and then never got out. Um, third of all, my cat is right here. You can kind of see her ears. Um, Trix, you're gonna have to move. Thank you. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, fourth of all, I have tea. Um, and I also haven't eaten today, and it's like 11, so I'm kind of hungry. Uh, fifth of all, I think I'm done talking about things. I really hope that the sound works. Um, if not, this is gonna be kind of awkward. So, yeah. Uh, today I have the last installment of my makeup collection. Oh, fifth of all, I'm not wearing pants. That was my last announcement, so I hope you can't see that. I mean, I can see what I'm filming, but like, yeah. There's a cattail that keeps going in. Yeah. So, I have the last- everything's falling. The last installment of my makeup collection, which is lip products. I just kind of have them all thrown in this little box. So, we'll go through, I'll talk about some of my favorites more in depth, and then, yeah. Um, yeah, also my hair was in a messy bun and then I took it out, and so it's like, pfft. Yeah, because, like, the top of my head gets kind of cut off, so I just look kind of bald. That was a good look. And the cat just clawed my foot. Alright. Um, so yeah. Getting started. I have... NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. This is my like favorite pink gloss, I guess. Not sticky, like it a lot. Very nice. Um, I wish it was a little bit darker, but that's more on the color than anything else. This is gonna make a really big mess. Okay. Um, next up, I have the Essence something. It's like their sheer lipstick. I don't know what it's called though. In Candy Love, which is number 12. Just a pink lipstick. It's kind of sheer. Um, don't love this. It's okay. Probably wouldn't rebuy it. Um, another product from Essence. I have the Prettifying Lip Oil. This was originally in First Help Pinky. I don't understand the names of these. Um, and then I added some of the next product. Another product, which is the... I can't read it because it's so dark. J-Cat Beauty Liptitude thing. It's a lip lacquer, and it's in a very dark shade called Fantasy Dreamer. Um, I've never worn this. I don't know why I bought it. But I mixed in a little bit of this to make it like kind of a purpley color, and I like it way better because it does more staining on my lips. So yeah, that's that. Um, next up I have the Ulta Beauty Tinted Lip Balm in a shade that's not going to tell me. This came in their advent calendar. It's just this purple shade. Now, I don't really wear purple lipsticks. I really like this on me, but like it's very bright. So it's, I'll show you. I'm not going to swatch most of these, but like it's a full on like fuchsia -y purple color. Um, so I don't really wear it. I do, however, really like it. So I should wear it more often. If I remember correctly, it kind of tastes like chemicals, but what can you do? Um, next up, I have this little baby Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Lip Oil. Oh. Why can't I talk? Um, this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. There we go. Uh, this is in the shade Pure Peach. This was like a little 100 point perk at Sephora. I love this. Definitely gonna buy a full size. Don't know if I want a full size of this color. I wish it was a little bit darker. Um, I like glosses to be like, well, I buy a lot of glosses that are slightly lighter pink than my lips, and then that can like catch on dryness and look kind of weird. So I want the, I want this to be slightly darker. Um, next up, we have one of my favorite lip glosses. This is the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in Trailblazer. I talked about this in my favorites, which I think was two videos ago. Um, so yeah, this is cool. Um, it's a cool peachy color, and yeah. Um, next up I have this Mineral Fusion Liquid Lip Gloss. 
I don't know what color it's in. I don't know what's going on. Um, this is something I've had since middle school and it smells kind of weird, so honestly I'm probably going to get rid of it very soon. Um, but it's, it's a pretty color. I don't know, it's kind of like a reddish pink color that makes your lips just like slightly darker. Which is kind of my favorite thing for glosses to do, so. There is hair stuck to my lip gloss. Um, we'll talk about what I'm wearing. I don't know why all the lip glosses are on top. I think it's because I kind of rebelled against, um, matte lips. And so all my lip glosses, like, I've been wearing them a lot. Um, this is some sort of Stila lip gloss in the shade Sugar. I'm pretty sure they don't make this anymore because I'm positive I bought this on clearance because I think I only paid like $5 for it. Um, it's just a clear gloss. I don't know if you can see it. My makeup's kind of weird today. Hello. Um, but it's just a clear gloss with a little bit of micro glitter, but you can't really see the glitter. But yeah. I got some gloss and lips. Um, this isn't my favorite formula because it's kind of sticky, but um, it lasts pretty well. So yeah, there's not a ton on my teacup. I'm probably going to cut out all the parts where I'm drinking tea but maybe not all of them. And so let's just talk about my favorite lip gloss of all time that I'm really mad that Maybelline doesn't make anymore. This is the Maybelline Shine Sensational Lip Gloss in 85 Cranberry Crave. I bought this in eighth grade. I don't know why I still have it, because I just graduated high school. If you pay attention, you know that. Um, but it still smells fine, so I still use it very regularly. Um, it's just a kind of like reddish pink color, tints your lips darker, and also reddish pink colors are kind of my favorite. I just, I really love this, and I'm going to be really sad when it runs out, which it's about to. So yeah. Um, start with another, we'll go to another product that I bought in 8th grade. This is the Rimmel Provocalypse. Yeah. Um, 16 hour kiss proof lip color in 500 kiss me you fool it's quite the name um, so basically this is like the OG liquid lipstick situation this side is a like, sticky sort of like dry 16 hour lip color and then this is like a balm to keep your lips from falling off um, so like not like a glossy situation that's kind of gross because it was originally clear but like a little bit transfers so yeah and then you got your stick on this side um if i remember correctly this flakes when it comes into contact with the oil it's a bit of an issue and i don't really wear red lipstick so i don't think i've worn this in a couple no i wore this last year it was fine i prefer things over it but it was fine um Next up, I have a lip scrub. This is from Indie Beauty. This is the Buttercream Antioxidant Lip Scrub. It's okay, it's more of a balm than a scrub. I don't know if you can see this, but like, it's a lot of balm for a little bit of scrub. Focus. Can you see that? Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I tried. Also, the air conditioning just came on. I'm gonna go turn it off. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, now that it's legitimately going to be 80 degrees in here, but it's okay because uh, the air conditioning makes a ton of sounds. So I literally only own two lip, lip liners. Why can't I talk? Why can I never talk when I'm filming? Okay. I only own two lip liners, um, but these are pretty good shades. This is the Essence Lip Liner in Red Blush. It's just kind of like a pinky... If I could describe it, I would say a really dark pink. I don't know if you can see that. But it's like, kind of like a berry shade. You can wear it with red, you can wear it with nude. I actually have it on a little bit today around the outside, it's just very lightly to do a little bit of lip contouring. Then I also have this one from Ulta's own brand. It's their contour lip liner in flesh. So it's just like a nice nude. Um, Honestly, if you're going to only have two lip liners, I would definitely recommend these. Um, they're similar in formula. They're very creamy. They don't, like, break very easily. They are the kind that you have to sharpen. Let's see. I think the Ulta one is a little bit more creamy, and the Essence one is a little bit drier, but this one's, like, $8, and this one's, like, 2 So, you know. Um, I know that on my channel I talk about a lot of Ulta products that I don't like. I have talked about two so far that I do like, so there's that. 
Um, and we're about to talk about another one. So this is the Ulta Plum Portal Lipstick in the shade Mauve Me. I believe that they were going to like move me. I'm gonna swatch this too. So this is like one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. I talked about this in favorites video in like February, January, sometime a long time ago. Why is my face itchy? What is going on? Um, but I've not been able to find this online or in stores anywhere. So that was another maybe advent calendar situation or no, no, no. It was a gift with purchase situation. So probably can't get it. Why is my shirt doing this? Um, you probably can't get it, but it's really good. And I like the color a lot. Well, next up I have the caked something, something. It doesn't say anything about what it is or the color. Um, yeah. Why is traffic so loud? Okay. Um, yeah, I know nothing about what this is. Um, I don't even remember what the color name is because it had a sticker but it fell off. It's pretty. Um, it's this really weird formula. It's kind of like powdery. Oh, it's that one right there. Um, but I don't really wear colors like this because I find that they make my lips look really small and that is not what I'm trying to do. Um, next up I have a couple of the NYX soft... Whoops. Um, next up I have a couple of the NYX soft matte lip creams. Um, I have Amsterdam and Stockholm. Um, so the Netherlands are a theme here. Um, so I just... it's a red... I said I wasn't going to swatch things, didn't I? And I'm like kind of a peachy nude. I really like these. Um, so those two right there. Um, I really like these. I don't wear them that often, but they're not very drying um, for a liquid lipstick. But they also don't last as long. Next up, I also have some ultra pigmented lip colors from Forever 21. I should probably throw these away. These are also pretty old, but they're just like lip lacquers. Um, and you have a red, a berry, and a white for mixing. They're okay. I've used them like three times. I don't really have any interest in using them. Okay, so that is it for today. I hope you, and whoa, sounded really Southern. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe and all that. Um, my camera's about to die, so I have to go, and yeah, again, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!